When it comes to staining wood, probably the easiest thing to do is to use a standard color stain. It's extremely easy to do when you don't have any existing finished items that you want to have some support for color-wise. But everything changes when you have to match something in color. One more thing that can make everything much more complicated when the raw wood that you're working with is different from the already finished stuff. The main difference is of course the grain and the base color of the wood that you're working with. Some types of wood are darker, some of them are lighter, but some types of wood are absolutely inconsistent in color. And this is exactly what we had in this case. So we were supposed to stain and clear coat this entire staircase on both sides, which was very inconsistent. There was a bunch of pieces that were green, some of them were like really, really red, some of them were yellow, and here's what we were able to do with it. I picked the most different pieces out of all of them and did my color match on three different pieces at the same time. And then when I put all three pieces together, it was way easier to kind of visualize what the final picture would look like. But the most important thing here was I needed to confirm that with the client. Despite of the complexity of the task, we were able to pick really close color and here's what we were able to achieve we were trying to match the uh, hardwood floor whenever we do color match we always put our clear coat on top of stain before we pick the color and here's why it's so important the higher sheen our top coat is the more reflection we're gonna get and thus our dark wood is gonna look a lot lighter in the end but the uh, less sheen we have the darker it's going to look in the end. So this was another hard thing to do, but as you can see, the sheen of this top coat works really, really good with our hardwood floors. And here's how everything turned out in the end. I'm super thankful to the builder that we did this job for. Big shout out to PB Carpentry. We were able to come up with a plan here so this staircase looks at its best. Here's what we did. We pre-finished all of the parts of this staircase separately before it got assembled. If we had to finish the staircase before it got assembled, we would have had some inconsistencies in color and we could have had a bunch of other problems. I would probably say that the amount of time it took us to do the color match for this job was probably as long as it took us to stain and clear coat this entire staircase. But was it worth it? I would definitely say yes, because on a job like this, we only have one shot. Whenever we have to redo something, restain something, it's not only dealing with a clear coat, we also have to take the top layer of the wood off, because stains tend to penetrate into the wood, and it's super hard to get rid of, especially if we're dealing with an even surface of the wood. It is always super hard to go back to its initial look. And now when everything is done, it's time to take some final pictures. And uh, yeah, we put another great project in our basket of completed projects. So for all of my friends finishers out there, I wish you guys best of luck with your color matches because I know it's super hard, but I also know that it's very rewarding to work on the projects like this. And if you're a homeowner and thinking about doing something like this in your own house, I just want to emphasize how important it is to find somebody who has really good eye to things like this. And despite the complexity of a project, I personally enjoy working on projects like this every time. Because when everything comes together, there is no words to describe how great it feels. And I'm always super happy for our clients because they're going to be the ones enjoying this beautiful staircase for a long time. Good luck with your project, guys. Hopefully you got something helpful out of this video. And question of the day will be, what is your favorite top coat? What is the material that you like working with the most? Drop a comment below, we'd love to hear your thoughts on that. All right, take care.